do you mind telling us a little bit about your background and any experience you had with area development and the success you've had? Well, I, I've been I've been in the franchising industry for you know many many years. We're forty years in business. I opened up my first location back in 1986 with uh, 200 dollars two computers and a fax machine i'm the first latino that established a, a franchise in the tax preparation bookkeeping and payroll industry i i i know what it takes to build a franchise because i built it up from the ground all the way up um i put a lot of a lot of blood and sweat into building my brand um i had a lot of difficulties raising money raising capital so I have to literally work very hard on my own locations, on my own business. And whatever money I was being generating there, profit, I was investing it into the franchise company development. So I can tell you that I invested more than $10 million developing my brands and I still was on the red. It took, it took a lot of time for me to build it because I have no knowledge. I have no support. I have no one that took me by my hand and walk me through the process of how to build a successful franchise company. I built it with a lot of try and error. And I don't regret it because, you know, I was persistent and consistent enough mm -hmm. to hang in there, hang in there. This doesn't work. Let's try this. Let's try that. Until I was able to eventually, um, someone came knocking at the door. The number one person in the industry came knocking at the door and uh, we became partner. And in the first, in the first year, we saw about almost about close to about a thousand territories, mostly utilizing that era representative, you know, concept. So all I can say to you is that I've been very fortunate to really end up in this industry. People say that I'm crazy. I'm a risk taker. I'm a maverick. I'm not afraid to really, you know, take chances because that's what really it takes in order for someone to build a successful franchise company. Right now, I'm no longer the CEO of the brand that I created, my baby. Um, I'm developing now multiple brand, you know, uh, companies. I created a company called Latin X Franchise Brands, focusing on the Latino market, helping Latinos now to launch or convert the successful businesses into a franchise. I noticed that nobody was paying attention to the Latino community in the franchising industry. Meanwhile, we are 65 million Latinos in the US. We opened more than 5 million businesses already operating. We're generating $3.6 trillion. So I saw a great opportunity and I jumped on it. Right now I have about seven, eight brands already under my portfolio that we are promoting, that we are selling, most of them owned by Latinos, uh, some of them even from, from Puerto Rico. And, and, and the idea now is to take this to another level. I'm also the CEO and founder of the Latino Franchise Association. I, I go all over the country promoting the franchising business model, you know, um, basically asking Latino to take a close attention to the fantastic uh, business, uh, the franchising business model is the, the, the opportunity that can bring and, 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 and the life-changing making that that, that business model can, can do to our community. So I promote franchising. Uh, this is, I'll do this for free. Uh, not, the Latino Franchise Association is an open profit organization. And, and, and my goal is to be able to, to change the landscape of the franchising industry by having more people of color in, in, in the industry. Um, you know, that's really my goal in the future. Can you tell us how area representative deals work and how you can make money with these deals? An area representative basically is, um, um, uh, is an, the way I see it is more like an accelerator of, of growing your franchise brand, of being able to sell and, uh, and have more units by having, by having what I call soldiers or better, better, better of general, by having generals on the field People that now have a, an interest on developing, on selling, on building a block of uh, locations in a particular area. The way I can describe it is uh, simple. I mean, it's just people will pay an amount so they can have exclusive right to a particular territory. Let's say that um, based on your criteria and you for territories, let's say in Brooklyn, the borough of Brooklyn, New York, um, someone is interested in acquiring all the territories that you have for your brand in Brooklyn, New York, then that person will have to pay a fee to have an exclusive right to each of those territories in Brooklyn. And by paying that fee, then it will be a split 
distribution on the franchising fee and the royalty that is collected out of every single one location. This is a very, very, very lucrative and very profitable venture. As a matter of fact, people can become multimillionaire by really investing in this type of uh, deal. I'm going to give you one example. If someone is interested in Brooklyn, and let's say based on your criteria, creating territory and your mapping, uh, let's say you can have 100 territories in Brooklyn. If your price to sell that exclusive right to anyone, let's just uh, take an easy number. Let's say that it is $10,000. So if someone want to buy from you 100 territories, basically, that will be equal to a million dollars. So whoever wants to have that exclusive right in those 100 territory and getting a split on their money that could be generated from the franchising sale, which is franchising fee, and also the royalty that will be collected forever, then that person will have to pay, write a check of a million dollars. So $10,000 times 100 is equal to a million dollars. So there will be a, a contract agreement that the franchise attorney will prepare, similar like when you buy a single unit, multi-unit franchise agreement. And, and then after the person signed that agreement or the day that is signing that agreement, obviously you have to go through the disclosure process, then that person will have to write a, a $1 million check. So obviously there's responsibility that person is to now go out there and promote the brand to be able to bring and attract potential buyers of those uh, territory. So every time somebody buy or open up a location in that territory, it's a 50-50 split. And I'm saying 50-50 split because that's the way I have done it. But you can create it and set it up any way you want to. It could be 60-40, 70-30. It could be any way you want. But well, the way I've done it is a 50-50 split, meaning that every time somebody buy that franchise, and assuming that your franchising fee, let's say is $50,000. So when someone pay 50, then... Uh, it will be 50-50 split, then the, the, the area representative will get $25,000, and $25,000 goes to the headquarters. So imagine that you sell those 100 locations at a $50,000 a franchising fee each. Then $5 million is collected because it's a 50-50 deal. Then that that area representative person will get two point five. And mil, uh, get, yeah, $2.5 million out of the franchise sales from the franchising fees, and headquarters will get also the same amount. But the big money, obviously, is not on the franchising fee. The big money is on the royalties. Now, imagine that that person already sold 100 territories, and imagine that each of those franchise locations are generating $1 million gross revenue annually. And imagine that your royalties are, five, let's say, 6%. To make it easier. Obviously, if it is 6%, there is a split 3% for the area representative person and 3% for headquarters. But if you have 100 locations generating a million dollars, that means that combined those 100 territories generate $100 million, $100 million gross revenue. So the franchise headquarter company will collect 6% royalties out of that. That will be equal to $6 million in royalties of which $3 million will have to be given to the area representative and $3 million will come in to the headquarters. So that is that is the fastest way for any brand to grow because now you have someone with a genuine interest of really selling, accelerating the growth. Plus also that person have an interest in a way that will be monitoring part of the responsibility of that person is monitoring those locations, making sure that the following uh, the business model, the franchise business model, making sure that they are participating, that they are active, that they are promoting the brand, that they are doing everything possible to make a lot of money out of those locations because there is a common denominator here. If the franchisees in each of those territories make money, obviously the, the franchisors make money, but also the area representative make money. So everybody win and and, and, and for me, it, it is an amazing concept, and I give a lot of credit to whoever created it, because for me, it's the fastest way. Imagine that you have 10 area representative nationwide with the same concept. Now you have 10 times 100, that's a thousand territories, you know. And also, I should also mention that someone that buy 100 territory, the way we set it up in the contract agreement, is a 10-year contract agreement, so the person have 10 years to open up those 100 territories. So the commitment is, is uh, 10%. So it's uh, in this case, it will be 10 locations have to be open every every year. 
if the person buy, I don't know, 30 locations, then you have to open up three locations every year for the next 10 years. That's how you build it up. 